A big bust on a metro bus. The driver is arrested in connection with a murder. The bus driver was driving his normal route today when he was busted at the Pentagon. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg is live from the federal courthouse with the driver's alleged connection now to a Fairfax County murder. Jeff? Well, Allison, 43-year-old Stacy Reed making his first appearance in federal court today facing charges of conspiracy to obstruct commerce by robbery, what is called a Hobbs Act charge. But this alleged crime is connected to the murder of a house handyman more than two years ago. The two people who live closest to Stacy Reed's house in Manassas, Betty Helvey and Tom Nichols. Oh my gosh, I'd say it's, it's, it's chilling. Oh, I'd be shocked. Are surprised their neighbor is connected to a murder, but not to trouble. He just seemed like a very serious person. And it's just like somebody you wouldn't want to mess with. I would say the same. Mm -hmm. Early this morning, federal agents went looking for Reed at the home, but he was at work driving a Metro bus on his route at the Pentagon. That's where agents found 43 year old Stacy Reed and arrested him without a fight. Oh my goodness. It all goes back to the murder of Jose Cardona in May 2010 at this home in Centerville, in which Reed is believed to be an accomplice. Authorities say Renard Prather and Tashik Champion attempted to rob the home, which was owned by the owner of a Manassas check cashing store. As handyman Jose Cardona and the homeowner's son tried to fight off the intruders, Cardona was shot and killed. According to the affidavit, while in prison, both Prather and Champion admitted to meeting Reed the morning of the murder at a strip mall and then getting a ride from him to the house in a truck like this before committing the crime. I'm saddened due to his wife and child. You never know who you're living next to, I guess. Reed started driving a bus for Metro in August. Following his arrest today, he was fired. Reed's next appearance in court is happening Monday afternoon at 2 o'clock. If convicted, he could face up to 20 years in prison. Live in Alexandria, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. All right, Jeff, thank you.